you got to figure your kids out. I know some of y'all be letting your kids stress you. Do not let your kids stress you. You got to understand the world is against you and your baby. The world is about money. Making money. They don't give a fuck about you raising your children. Commercials are 30 to 60 seconds long. Your child's attention span is 30 to 60 seconds long. That's why they want everything. You can go to the store and buy your child everything in the toy store on aisle number seven. I swear for God, he'll get to aisle number eight and be like, but daddy, this wasn't even in there. <laughs> you just gotta figure out how to deal with your kids. I tell my son the truth. I agree with whatever can be agreed with. I know that nigga want everything, but I understand he just want me to know. He don't expect it. I love that bicycle, daddy. You see that bicycle? I got a bell and everything. I like bells. I might as well just ring it. Just bing, bing, bing. You know, I'm in the driveway when I ring it. That movie come out Friday, daddy. We gonna be here Friday. We might as well see the movie Friday. I love Pokemon, daddy. Pikachu. I love Pikachu, daddy. That's Fruit Loops. Got vitamin C for boys and for girls. I love mess with white people and tell white people they need to beat their kids. <laughs> but let me tell you something. It ain't that. It ain't like niggas got it all down pat when it comes to raising kids. We all got problems. We just got different problems. It would seem like white people are a little bit too lenient on their children and niggas are a bit too harsh on ours. All I'm saying is at the white family's house you can get time out for setting the family <laughs> dog on fire. At the nigga household, you can get beat half to death for forgetting to feed the family dog. Now that's the same goddamn dog. We just do shit differently, but white people, please take this back to your community. Please stop putting your children on them goddamn leashes. That is just entertainment for niggas. We <laughs> That's why white little kids wake up and grow up to be 26 and kill everybody in the family because you don't have them on the leash like a dog. They just in the toy store just, I want it, I want it. <laughs> and black people laughing like we got the shit down pat. We ain't no good neighbor. You got to stop beating your motherfucking kids in the goddamn grocery store. You just need to check out line as soon as your baby touched the scales. You just did not tell me that. Because, <laughs> <laughs> ma'am, that baby is a toddler. You can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Not because I put women on the street, I think pimp, therefore I am. I see some niggas writing it down, feel free, feel free. <laughs> so, the first rule of pimping is you don't lie. So I don't lie to my son about nothing. He's nine, he ain't never believed in Santa Claus, I'm sorry. I cannot afford him to walk around thinking it's a white man going through the ghetto, giving niggas PlayStation. No, no. Daddy bought that with his weed money, baby. <laughs> Can you say sacrifice? <laughs> sacrifice. We had real conversations. That nigga came to me. A few months ago, he said, Daddy, I want an Xbox. I said, sit right here, Pippin. Let Daddy holler at you. Now, the first thing I need you to understand is the Xbox is $199.99. Now, Daddy can do this all day, every day, no problem. But I need you to understand that it only comes with one controller. That means Daddy can't play with you, your friends can't play with you, it's just you. That means I gotta buy another controller at $34.95. Now, Daddy can do this all day, every day, no problem. But I need you to understand it only comes with two demo games. You're gonna be through with them motherfuckers tonight. <laughs> 
think I can speak for all niggas when I say we don't give a fuck about most of that shit. It ain't a nigga in here that ever been ready to fuck a woman and then change his mind because she had on the wrong toenail polish. Yeah, that's nothing. Oh, hell no. Is that wrong? <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's wrong, bitch. You know, I can't do that. I can't. <laughs> Women, you just gotta remember, men are simple. We are simple. We just wanna work and fuck and eat and not necessarily in that order. In that order. Cause if a nigga can fuck, we ain't even hungry. I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> I guess you know, it's okay. We just tired of women confusing us. Women, stop confusing us. We are simple. We are tired of being at the club. You got a woman dancing all on you just. <laughs> <laughs> Done dance the crease out of niggas' hands. <laughs> now after the club, we excited in a motherfucker. We on the car like this. <laughs> 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 so what's cracking? And y'all turn into a different motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were a whore. <laughs> you were a whore over there. And as soon as you be over, you're here. <laughs> then we crossed the no whore line. What the fuck happened? <laughs> <laughs> I know women be bothered by simple shit. Women don't like it when a man buy them a drink and then follow them all over the club all night. Clap if you hate that woman, do you hate that? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, can I holler at you, player? Uh, either you or her will be 350, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> it'll be you, it'll be her, it'll be her, it'll be, it be you. Before I get out of here, I, I gotta say something that's gonna be a bit controversial, but I've been thinking about it and it really needs to be said. Hold on one second. Thank you ever so much. Mm -hmm. I, I heard a, a voice with some bass in it. I just want to acknowledge that. What'd you say, sir? Yes, I'm in distress. Mm -hmm. 1032. I know my hairdresser is quite frustrated. I just swear that I every goddamn curl that bitch put in. Just <laughs> 38 seconds. Hairdressers be throwing out gang signs and sensitive. Which I got like a hundred hair salon. What's the name of the best one? That's just where you go. <laughs> All right, I got to say this. I want you to know before I say this that a third of the niggas in here are not going to be happy about what the fuck I'm getting ready to say. And I want you to know that I have been this size all of my life, which means I'm not scared of shit, nigga. I've been unconscious before, and it wasn't that bad. <laughs> I woke up in the club, nigga. I was well rested and everything. I just... Stop talking shit. Well, where's the nigga now? <laughs> <laughs> and remember that this is just my opinion. As far as I'm concerned, there are only two types of niggas. Real niggas and bitch niggas. Yeah. Now, hmm. say that. Now if you're not sure where you fit in, chances are you're a bitch nigga. You really are. <laughs> if you look around, there's people looking at you right now. Like, what is that bitch nigga smiling about? But as real niggas, we have always known that there were bitch niggas. We see them in the mall all the time. They be waving, and you be like, what is this bitch nigga waving? <laughs> but now, bitch niggas are becoming a problem for real niggas. Bitch niggas are now starting to cost real niggas money. You see, there are more lesbians now than there have ever been. And most of that 
is the fault of bitch niggas. You can't blame her. She been with bitch nigga after bitch nigga after bitch nigga after bitch nigga. <laughs> and finally she like, why don't I just be with a bitch nigga? And you can't blame her. You can't blame her. But bitch niggas don't respect women at all. They don't understand this is not 1996. I'm gonna get mine, I hope you get yours. A woman should be so kind as to offer you some pussy. It is your obligation to fuck the shit out of her <laughs> at every opportunity that you get. Ah, uh, but the bitch nigga don't get it. And the bitch nigga starting to cost real niggas money now. Cause now you done went over her house and fucked it up. And now before you can get in your car, she is already on the phone with a real nigga. Now this nigga got to get up out his bed, go all the way across Cincinnati to fix some <laughs> shit you didn't have no business fucking with, with your bitch ass in the first place. And gas prices are too high for that type of shit. <laughs> now, now I know that there are some real niggas in the audience right now who are mad at me right now because they don't understand why I'm wasting my time and my breath talking to bitch niggas. But what you don't understand is you don't have to be a bitch nigga all your life. After the show, you can give one of these real niggas in the audience and let him tutor you on Mondays and Wednesdays and Fridays till you get some of that bitch out your uterus. <laughs> now listen to me carefully, if you would, bitch niggas. understand bitch nigga. <laughs> See the bitch niggas paying attention. <laughs> the first thing you need to understand bitch nigga is the first nut is slippery. It's not just you. It happens to the best of us. Sometimes the first nut just has a mind of its own. You can have the best intentions in the world. Just I'm going to fuck the shit out of all oh, hell. No, I don't believe this shit. Now, if you're a real nigga, you never even let her know what just happened. You just, you are not ready yet. You are not ready yet. <laughs> I'm going to eat your pussy again. I'm going to eat your pussy again. <laughs> you are not ready for this. There's <laughs> some women in here mad right now. Is that what he was doing? <laughs> yes, you are fucking with a real nigga. Now, since you know that the first nut is slippery, to get that motherfucker out the way before you get to her house. You need to be on the highway working that motherfucker out. Just... <laughs> that way, by the time you get to her house, you are already on nut number two. And I think I speak for all real niggas in attendance today when I say there's nothing more powerful than arriving at her house already on nut number two. You don't be bullshit. You just go on and lay down, go on and lay down. <laughs> you might want to wrap your hair up this evening. You might want to wrap your hair up. <laughs> Bitch niggas. Now, once you put on your condom and you are safely inside. That's safely inside. The only word that should be in your head is concentration. You don't have time to be looking in her eyes and <laughs> caressing her softly and smelling that raspberry shit she got from bed back from beyond. <laughs> You need to be looking at everything in her house but her. Just keep your focus. Just... <laughs> Sing little songs to yourself off key to keep your focus. Just A, B, C, D, E, G. Now listen carefully, bitch nigga. If you feel it starting to slip away, remember that this is a one-man sport. You make all the rules. Do not be ashamed to get out the pussy and get yourself together if you feel it's starting to slip away. Just A, B, C, D. <laughs> e, F, G, H, H. You're a fool. Pay attention to me if you would, bitch nigga. Now, I know... 
I know because I'm moving so quick that I haven't had time to talk about eating the pussy, and I know that that makes the bitch nigga think that maybe you don't have to do it. But see, it's that type of thinking right there that qualifies you to be a bitch nigga in the first place. Yeah, see, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I... See, real niggas know something that bitch niggas have never, ever found out. Oh, it's so quiet right now. You can hear a bitch nigga drop, baby. That's a... See, real niggas know I'm not eating the pussy for you. Oh, no. No, no. I shouldn't allow y'all son of shaman to go and hide out then, if you understand what I'm saying. I'm not eating the pussy for you. I'm eating the pussy for me. See, I don't eat the pussy. I know for a fact you already came twice. I felt you when you clenched up on the motherfucker and damn near suffocated me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, girl, this nigga brought dick to me. <laughs> Pay attention to me. If you would, bitch nigga. Now, once you've been doing it correctly for about 27 and three quarter minutes, you're gonna start to feel a pain in your side like you've been exercising. <laughs> now, I know that this is ordinarily where the bitch nigga just go and call it a day. But if you can manage to fuck through the pain. <laughs> See, she don't know you in pain. She think you a genius and are hitting it from the side. So continue to hit. <laughs> Your body is gonna go into autopilot. And I think I speak for all real niggas in attendance today when I say there is nothing more wonderful than feeling your body go into autopilot. Because now you got time to have fun with her. You got time to enjoy yourself. You got time to do stupid shit like look at your own dick. Now look around at the confused look on the bitch nigga's face right now. I think I speak for all real niggas in attendance today when I say there's nothing more wonderful than looking at your own dick. You can say that motherfucker just... <laughs> Some of you niggas can't do it no way because you got to be so close on the pussy. You can... Shout out to Cat Williams. <laughs> 